everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Helena Sanch from Nairobi, Kenya in Africa. And before I show you what I have for today, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching my videos. Thank you to my returning subscribers for always coming back to watch my videos. To my new subscribers, thank you so much for hitting that subscription button. So as you can see, today I'm home. The weather is not so good. It has been raining, but we thank God. Rains are blessings. So since I'm home today and the kids are also home for the longest holidays, they'll be here for two months. So I've decided to be at home and be a mother and also an auntie. Yes, I'm a mother. Mm -hmm. I'm a mother for sure. So when I woke up today, my daughter and my nieces were like, uh, auntie, we want you to do chapatis. And I was like, why not? Being a content creator, when you hear such things, you know how for ukona content. So I decided today that I'll do again. I'll do the chapati video again. If you have been watching me, if you have been with me since day one, you know that my first video was about making chapatis using one hand. But today it will be about making chapatis using two hands because I have my camera women behind the camera. It's not just one, two, three. There are many of them and I'm happy for that. So I won't struggle on how I'll do chapatis holding camera at the same time. I have people to do that. So do not go away stick around let let's let's make these chapatis together i will show how to do them or how i do them my way i'll take you step by step until we achieve the final product stick around guys hey guys now i want to start uh doing the chapatis like i said earlier and uh, i'll be showing you the ingredients that i use so here we have the butternut this one the pumpkin i'll be peeling it and once I'm done peeling it, I will boil. After boiling, and then I'm going to blend it. But you can also mash it. It all depends on how you want it done. But for me, I like blending it. And then I have my white unga. This one for a jab. I like using a jab, but you can use any other brand that you like. I also have my brown unga from X. So I'll be mixing these two, but before I mix them, I normally sieve, but it all depends on how you want to do it. I also have my oil here, and I have uh, the, a bit of sugar and a bit of salt. So for some people, they don't like using sugar, but for me, because these chapatis are meant for kids, not for grown-ups, because I'm the only grown-up, I'll put a bit of sugar so that it be... A little bit tasty you guys know kids with sugar and my salt I have my rolling pin and later on I'll be showing you the pan as we continue with the process so let me now sieve my unga and then after sieving I mix I'll be taking you through the process okay as we wait for the pumpkin or for the butternut to boil we came out here to feed the rabbits and we are still here negotiating if we should slaughter one <laughs> so that we can eat it with chapati. But that is, uh, we have to do a discussion about it. Because you know kids of nowadays, they have them as pets. Us, we used to have them as meat. So those are our bunnies. Our bunnies, we were feeding them. As you can see there. And there's another one running away from us there. Okay. So we are done with the bunnies. So we go back into the house and start with the chapati process. Okay, guys, can you see that? I don't know why they are like lining, like seated like that. <laughs> Look at the ears. Like how many, how many are they? Uh, like 12. They are 12? No, they're yeah. 7. No, 12. Our pumpkin, our pumpkin is boiling. It's almost done. Then we take it uh, we take it from here and then we put it into the blender pass me the blender my camera woman it's over here just just the blender so we put it in the blender here and then we blend it and then we start mixing so guys stay tuned and if you're watching this video and you have not subscribed subscribe to my youtube channel comment like and share 
so guys here we are like i told you i normally sieve my unga there we go that's the white unga and now we mix with the brown the brown unga i don't want to put too much because i know you guys don't like brown but you know brown is healthy you guys do you know that or you don't yeah you can talk you can say do you know if it's healthy or not mm. Jaya, do you think it's it's, it's healthy mm -hmm. it's healthy but i know you don't like it that much mm. Yay! Oh, I know. Okay. It's okay. i won't put too much of this okay hold on Hold on, hold on, keep, uh, put the camera there. Yeah. Okay, okay, now we put our sugar, just a bit for the taste, mm -hmm. and also a bit of salt, mm -hmm. and also a bit of oil, not too much, just a bit. And now this is where we put our pumpkin my, i blended mine like i said we put it all of it and uh, i have my water here but for me i normally use warm water i boil it first then i'll put it here for it to cool down so that it can be warm my hands are clean i've already cleaned them so the water just test if it's warm don't put too hot Otherwise, you, you're going to use like two packets of unga. So the water is warm. Everything else is here. And then we mix. First, I start mixing with the, with the mwiko. Just to make it even. Like that. Yes, like that. There we go. Okay. And then I'm going to check if... Yeah, it's okay like that. Then that's this way I, I use my hands like that. Okay. Okay, who is going to help me to put water here? Okay, help me. Are you able to put the water? Okay. okay. We put the water just a bit because the pumpkin did its thing. It's already coming together and it meets like this. That's how I do it. Yes. Let's go, let's go. Okay, you want to help? Mm -hmm. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'll, sh I'll show you where to help. Your hands are clean? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll show you where to help, my dear. Do not worry. Don't you worry. We are making this with you guys. So let's bring this one here because we will need it. I realize it's a bit soft. Then put more longer. Guys, I'm not alone. I'm with my nieces here. She's, she wants to help mixing the unga. So that's why you can see small hands <laughs> down there. <laughs> Don't wonder who is that. Then for me, uh, I like it. Once I mix like that, I always like use, using like a surface. I cleaned it first. Sorry, I didn't show you that process. And now this is where it happens now. Okay, my cameraman, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Please don't fall down <laughs> in the process of filming. Okay, that's how I do it now. Guys, you can help like this. You want to help? Okay, start mixing. By the way, you guys, do you know I did pastry in school? Do you know that? Mm. Uh -huh. Me. Do you know what's pastry? Mm -hmm. You do you know my cameraman. Do you know what's pastry? Yeah. What's pastry? Look in a picture. Okay. In in like no, a pastry yeah. is um, baking. In short. You used to bake in school. Yeah, I did baking in school. Mm. I did baking. So. Yeah, done. Um, <laughs> Not, <you shall. laughs> Not yet. <laughs> okay. You see now. Wait, 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 wait. Let me put a bit of oil. Yeah, like that. Okay. So you have to keep mixing and mix until it's even. Once you're done, you put it for like 15 minutes for it to rest. 
eh, this pumpkin didn't blend, but we are not going to lose it. We'll mash it like that. Yes. Okay, guys, I'm done kneading. So I'll leave it here for some time. Hold it like that. For like 15 minutes, and then I'll be back. Okay. Like that. We leave it there for some time. You can cover with a... Or, let me use this. Okay, now, we continue with now the other procedure, or the other part. Rolling. Today I have a cameraman. It feels so good. Last time I had to struggle with one hand and it was my first video. So I was just trying things out and so far so good. And I'm so grateful for my subscribers, you know, for my returning ones, for the new ones, you know, the ones who have been with me since day one. Yeah, you don't have to like roll too much. Just put oil and then like that yes then you put there onto the second one you go on and on and on like that until you're done it depends if you're making 10 making 15 making 20 if it's for a wedding a hundred <laughs> hundred pieces what well, that that can be tiring yeah? Yeah. yeah so that's the that's the other step now after kneading and letting it rest for 15, 15 minutes this is the other step now of oiling. Is it oiling? Yeah, we can say, yeah, yeah, we can can say, say oiling. Yeah, you yeah. can say oiling or... or yeah, you yeah, can oiling. say oiling because it's actually oiling. Then, like that. Fold it. You fold it, yeah. Fold it, then, yeah. I like doing that so that when I'm doing the final... The final thing, it turns yeah, out very well. It turns out round. You know, chapati can... <laughs> Can embarrass you sometimes, eh? You're trying with to the different shapes. It come up with different shape, but what matters mm -hmm. is the product and the taste. Yeah. Bora ni kushiba too. So long as you eat and <laughs> you're full. Mm. Oh, I should stop just frying, eh? No, no, it's actually fine. You know, sometimes it can be tricky. Yeah. You are trying to put that shape, the round one, it's not coming out. But these days they have made uh the there's something that has come out. Um mm -hmm. it looks like a like a, like a pan. Mm -hmm. So you, you place this thing there, mm -hmm. and then you close it, and then... Oh, it makes a perfect yeah. shape. So oh. I think I'll be, I'll be getting that soon. It also makes the labor easy. Yeah, I think it's better if you like try and make the shape perfect to be appeasing for the eyes. Yeah. You know? So this kind of process I'm using is not for the lazy ones. It can be tiring. It's a process. So yeah, so we continue. We continue with the rest. Guys, we are here now, on close to the final product. Don't mind, the, don't mind about the shape, guys. As long as we eat and feel nice, it's kind of it's too soft, so it's giving me a headache. But I'll fight with it like that. So, okay, okay, put more. Yeah. 